All right, I'm going to see if I can take these parts. This 16 inch wheel, it's got a uh, bearing in there, 5 8 inch ID bearing in there. And uh, these miscellaneous parts, a piece of 5 8 threaded rod, nuts, washers, spacers. This thing looks like a cutting board, but it's got a hole in the middle of it. I found in my, basically my junk pile of stuff I use for miscellaneous projects. So don't even remember where it came from. We'll see if we can make a lazy Susan type turntable that heavy duty enough for me to stand on and spin around doing gyroscope experiments. So we'll give it a try. Well, guess what? It worked. Let me show you what I did. Let's see if I can see this. Got the threaded rod running through this wood. Um, underneath this flat washer here, it's 5 8 flat washer. Actually, it's a three-quarter inch flat washer. I want a large one to spread the load out here and a five-eighths inch, uh, just a regular nut. Now, a little hard to see if this getting focused down there. Got a uh, two flat washers. One's a five-eighths and one's a three-quarter just to help spread that load out and a uh, five-eighths inch nut and a five-eighths ID, a one-and-a-half inch long uh, spacer and uh, then the wheel and sort of the the bear the inner bearing rides on that spacer below up at the top here i've got a locking collar i'm going to lock it down and uh, it seems to work so i'm going to see if it can handle my load of me standing on it without falling off and uh, we'll see what happens in an earlier version of this video on how to make this um, turntable I had left this threaded rod sticking up now I realized after using it that's not a good idea it is a tripping hazard so I've cut the rod off even split the nut and tried to get it down to where it's uh, about flush with the edges of the tire so you can't ever be totally safe standing on something like a spinning wheel but uh, that will at least re reduce the uh, tripping hazard issue so we'll give this a try and see how it works we've got our turntable made with the cutoff threaded rod. If you happen to watch an earlier version of this video with the threaded rod sticking up and make one, I would go ahead and recommend cutting that off. It really reduces the chance of a tripping hazard here. Now you got to be careful standing on any wheel that's turning around, but this does spin good. Let's see how it does with my weight. It does pretty good. We'll try it with a spinning bicycle wheel. Okay, we're going to check out our turntable with a spinning bicycle wheel. Now, normal direction of precession with this rotating counterclockwise relative to the camera is to, in this direction. If I force it up, it's the opposite direction. So, works. So you just got to be careful on this, obviously. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like the video, click on the round subscribe button, and check out our other links. Thank you very much.